ये गेटर लैंड के बाहर का मंजर है का देखें कितना बड़ा है एक अच्छे का पुत्र Here's our volunteer. 
<laughs> it looks grilled, doesn't it? All right, let me see if I can get on his back here. And we'll get started. All right. Oh, look, he's smiling. <laughs> All right, Ooh, there we go. Landed on him. <laughs> now what, Daniels? Um, we're gonna get this alligator chase catch his breath. <laughs> Oh, he's a little tired now of shape. Yeah, he <laughs> hasn't done this for a few months. All right. Um, all right, let me go ahead and catch us in with all the teeth and we'll go ahead and get started. Hold still. All right, there we go. Got him. Okay, whew. All right, I'll tell you what. Hey, Sean. Where? Oh, there you are. Hey, is this the gator you picked out? You better say yes. <laughs> all right, now, uh, Marco was out here just a little while ago, boring you to death about how we came around to catching alligators and finding how we used to start wrestling and stuff. Well, he left some very important things out. For one, take a look at this alligator. He's very dark in color, so it's going to be very, very hard to find him in the muddy, murky waters that we have here in Florida. There's tons of alligators here in the state, and they're very hard to find just because they camouflage themselves so well. Second reason for hiding so well, right here at the tip of his snout, he's got two little holes. Now, those are his nostrils, and they're real fleshy, and they act like that. So if he smells something he doesn't like, like you folks, they'll just close them up, go and eat water, you can stay there for a real long time without coming up for a breath of air. Now, if you look, right here on the 82 teeth of the mouth, flap the skin back there, helps keep water so he doesn't drown himself. Okay, that's good enough for me. All right, there we go. Okay. All right, Brandon. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now moving right along here. Alligators a long time ago, people didn't know a lot of differences between alligators and crocodiles. Some folks, you know, you know, used to think that the alligator. Oh my. Alright, Brandon. Alright, Brandon, don't hold that too long if you're gonna hit me. Yeah. Sad part is that's the only way I'm gonna get one. Thanks, I don't know what's worse, the R or the laughter. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, now, like I was talking about the differences between the alligator and the crocodile, some folks used to think the top jaw opened up on the alligators, the bottom jaw on the crocodiles. Well, it's actually the bottom jaw on both these guys, and now I'm going to show you something really cool and show you how that bottom jaw works. So if you got a camera, I recommend you get it ready, because if this works out, then it's going to make one heck of a snapshot. And if it doesn't work out, it's probably going to make an even better snapshot, so get those cameras ready to work. All right, here we go. Check this out. This is only happening once. That mouth is slowly coming open. Hey, Brandon, smile. We're taking your picture. Someone's changing the film over there. Ah! Ah! The breath really stinks. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. All right. Woo. All right Thank right. you guys. Thank हम रेल गाड़ी में बैठे हुए हैं और ये अभी रवाना होने वाली है।
That big guy is Bone Crusher. He was a 15 and a Australian saltwater crocodile. Those are the largest species of crocodile in the whole world. They grow to be over 23 feet long when they're adults. And he's telling you that he's a little bit longer. And he has his mouth open like that so he doesn't overheat. They basically lay out in the sun to get energy because they're cold-blooded. Heat gives them energy. And those spikes on their backs, those are called scoots. He's going for the bell. Cooter, you better. 